Hey, Master Gardeners, that brood 10 cicadas might be coming to a neighborhood near you. And if you have newly planted trees like I do, you might be concerned because they can inflict some damage that can really set them back. This is only a concern if in 2004 you had the cicadas. If you did not, do not be worried. You won't have them this time. Ask your neighbors if they had them. But if you know they're in your neighborhood and you have newly planted trees or you have a little orchard, you should be concerned because the female is gonna seek out woody stems that are approximately the size of a pencil diameter or a little bit bigger. That's what she's seeking out to put 30 to 40 eggs in and she'll lay as much as 500 eggs. Now, so what can you do? You need to get out and purchase some one quarter inch netting material, lightweight netting material. I bought this online through a company that sells specifically for cicadas. So quarter inch approximately. Now, what are they gonna do? They're gonna climb the vertical surface when they first emerge from the ground and they may, then they're gonna fly around. The boys are gonna fly around. Once you hear them flying, that's when you know it's time to put the netting on. Don't start yet. It's not till May that you're gonna do this, but you have to be prepared and get your netting on hand now. So let me show you how we did this. I had a master gardener working with me. We bought this roll, it's 14 foot wide. So here it is laying here and it's 14 foot, width, 14 foot wide width. And then we took twine and we sewed up the end of it. Now, I don't think that you have to do this and I'll show you another sample, but this is perfect. I made a giant bag to put over top of the tree. We took sticks that we collected down by the power lines, some real tall sticks. I wired on a milk jug on the top of it to mark the center of it. And the way we do this is we just stand up our net and it hangs and I have two other people that can help me and we're gonna drape it right down over top of this tall, cause my tree is about 12 feet tall and you're gonna see another one over here that's 12 feet tall. Again, I'm not gonna do this until I hear the big boys that are singing and I'm gonna wrap it and I'm gonna attach it tightly down here so that those little crawling stinkers don't crawl under my net. And because this one's sewed, they won't be able to get in at all. So that's this tree. This was an expensive tree. I spent over $200 on this. So I don't want this one to get damaged. But over here, I have some just real inexpensive oak trees. I know that the cicadas like oak trees. We did the same thing, but I didn't, we didn't sew this one. So here's the fabric. Here's the fabric we draped over this one. So we, um, did the same thing, it's got, you probably can't even tell in the top of it. Make sure you choose your leader on your tree. The critical part that you can ruin by putting netting on your tree is you can alter the leader and bend it over. And when it's bent over for that four to six week period, you can totally change how your tree branches and you don't want that to happen. So therefore, when you put the stick up in the tree, tie the leader the main stem to your nice tree trunk. You have to stabilize that nice strong leader because if it bends, you will alter how the tree branches for the next 10 years. So protect that leader. If you look up in the top of this, you'll see we took green tape and we've attached it in there and we've made the leader the leader and I put the stick in here. My stick with the water bottle on the top of it is taller than my leader is. And then we drape the fabric down here. There's other fabrics you can use. And when the time comes, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tie it all around the base here and I'll be able to trim some of this off on the bottom. So that's, that's, it's a lot of work. So I don't recommend that you do this for every tree. You do not have to do this for mature trees. Mature trees can sustain this kind of damage. The only reason I'm doing it on these is because they're newly planted. And that's why I'm concerned about that. So don't, don't, don't bother to do anything if you know they don't come in your neighborhood and don't do anything about them if you, have, you haven't planted any new trees. Are they gonna damage your flowering plants? They're gonna climb up them, but no, they're not gonna inflict damage on this. They're looking for woody plants. Okay, there's your tips on cicadas.